It's been really, really awesome. I'm super excited about the gaming aspect and the, you know, the, the way it's been structured this year. I think VS Gaming has done an awesome job. Um, ACGL with Mortal Kombat 11 with their tournament that they're running. Um, ATK is also here running a lot of racing sims, uh, which hasn't really been done before, um, or well, extensively, um, the way ATK is done. And so big ups to them. But I think the overall like production quality on VS Gaming's main stage was insane. So yeah, um, the gaming aspect, and then obviously uh, a lot of love for the guys at you know in Artist Alley. Uh, we had some really awesome artists come out here, and yeah. Comic in Africa has been quite an excellent experience. I think everyone that's been here has enjoyed themselves so far. Um, aside from the people with very slow feet because there's so much to do here. So much to do here. I forced myself to take about an hour and a half, two hours, to actually walk around and enjoy the convention. Um, unfortunately, with my broken foot, I couldn't stand in life uh, uh, for, for some of the things that I want to do, like the awesome VR experiences that were here. But I got to play Street Fighter and I think I mean, you might have been distracted, but I think there was a Street Fighter Pro that I won. He blames it on the phone that he were, that also had it in his head, but I don't think that's true. I won him fair and square. I did, but he, he, he kicked my butt in the, uh, in the second round very easily. Uh, but I still got a free Red Bull, so that was nice. I always liked that free goodies. <laughs> but yeah, so um, aside from that, I got to walk around. I got to enjoy most of the convention uh, visually. Yeah, and I got some awesome art pieces. There's amazing art pieces. I'm not the only one doing this, people. There are amazing artists way better than me out here. So that was my experience at the convention. I enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it a lot. Low lights is not enough time and maybe that it's a bit hot. But other than that, um, highlights. Uh, yeah, my highlight was that panel because, I mean, people were so stoked and they came up to me and they really had a good time. My highlights are when people come back here, so that's really cool. Um, also, the international artists have been amazing. We took a picture with William Shatner. Um, yeah, it's been a good time. <laughs> uh, so feet. So feet and very sore legs, uh, struggling to get up in the morning. <laughs> Um, it, it really is something that one should at least exercise a little bit for, I think, mm -hmm. in preparation. I forgot that it would be a four-day event. Like, in my head, it was like, yeah, September 21st to the 24th. And I thought, yeah, one, two, three, four. It's like, I added one to four. It's like, yeah, it's three days. I'm fine. I didn't think about it too hard. <laughs> and in this morning, Bernard and I were just like, oh days um you know what overall like other than the sore feet and the pain and the extremely loud noise all the music and the like the general chatter in the background and all that um it's been fantastic the talent on offer is amazing but yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun the cosplay is amazing um obviously jinx kitty won the comp and uh it's so it, it's just been absolutely fantastic. The gaming as well. The, the indie devs spent solid three or four hours with them this morning, playing through all the demos. I know what I'm getting on Steam. Um, and yeah, I've, I've had a lot of fun. I really have. But it's extremely tiring. Very little, but, but when I have, I'm, I'm amazed. And the, the coolest part about KidsCon is that there's, there's so many things to do and you don't have to pay for each one, which is really nice. It's just kids can explore all these different things and they're not all uh, digital. It's not only behind a screen. So it's a really nice mix of hands-on stuff and not. Um, and no, it's been, it's been really cool. And then going into the other halls and the actual Comic-Con side has also been amazing. There's just so much and so much talent and artists and it's very cool. It's been inspiring. Highlights for me are always the artist alley, man. I just love seeing, uh, I love seeing the local talents. I love, you know, supporting them. So by far the highlight for me is always artist alley, is seeing the emerging talents around and especially seeing original creations, so original character designs. It's just, it, it's just on a different level now. You feel like you're at an American level con now. Last year was the feeler, and this year it was full force all the way. And the artist alley, which I will now call the artist suburb because it's so massive. Lots of local artists with some incredible talent. But otherwise, it's just I'm t I'm so sad. I'm going back to the normal world again tomorrow.
Dude, Comic Con this year has been phenomenal. Uh, last year I only went for a single day and I didn't really feel like I'd seen anything. This year, had I not gone all four days, I would have missed out on so much. Um, I mean, I got to get face to face with um, Nolan and Troy, which was just yeah, fantastic. They are real life content creators and, and, and so just being exposed to them on this sort of scale was amazing. Stores were great, the layout was good, the, 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 the people were hyped, it was busy, it was all in all a very, very positive experience. Kids Con for me this year was just fantastic. Like, they really, uh, if you look at the future of what's going to happen with content creators, like the professional gamers, all those people are young, you know, and now uh, having a Kids Con like that, kids are going to be wanting to come back next year, and, and I think that they really did that super well the fortnite with the nerf stand and the lego was just great uh, so i think the kids con for me was actually the highlight uh, obviously the the csgo the dota tournaments that uh, vs gaming and, and telcom have were, were great spectacles and, and the sort of esports that we want to see in south africa and, and see a big stage the lights the music the crowds so that's yeah the, the, those i think those are the, the top highlights for me for sure if i'm being completely honest like I don't know why, but the WWE stand, I like just had the most fun there. All right, okay. <laughs> like, just like you know, recreating my like favorite wrestlers poses and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, fun. it was. I haven't been there yet. Dude, it's awesome. Um, so I, like, I, I did the whole take a turn. I did the whole Triple H thing, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool. Yeah. And like, what would you improve about Comic Con if you had to organize? Um, honestly. The artist alley, bigger pathways. That's about it. Okay. Like, yeah, it's, it is. It is crowded. There, yeah. There, yeah. But like, I can, I can understand. You know, the the amount of people coming through yeah. and stuff. You know, you can't exactly. You know, it's difficult. It. And yeah. you want to get as many artists as you can exactly. in the in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. But sure, it's in the morning, like ten o'clock. It's packed. It's, it's like true. crowd surfing out there. <laughs> yeah. So wow, it's been it's it's a long day. I have to say that it's um, hard work during the day. But you know, it, when, every time you walk past someone and you see that smiling face um, and the happiness and the meaningfulness of this, this con to them, it just changes everything and you've just got a new lift in your step. So although you have moments of tiredness, all those moments of tiredness are completely overclipped by the fun and the joy um, and the meaningful love that you feel in the room for everything that's happening here. I knew what this con meant to a lot of people. But maybe I didn't fully understand just how much it means to people, you know. Um, some people have confided in me that they, they've always felt it on the fringe um, of their peers or their social groups. And they come here and they feel part of something and they know. <laughs> it anyway. Was, it was good. Busy. Exhausting. Meditating. Yeah, four days. It can get exhausting. That's but it was truth. good. It was... It was Fun to see uh, William Shatner and Daniel Kelly's. And it's fun to try and pronounce. We, we still to missed him. Troy Baker and Nolan North's um, main stage for, panel. Four, for days. four days. Four days in a row. Four days in a row. We had every. We had other things every single time they were on stage, so we didn't get that. But we did get to see Troy Baker obviously sing at the after dark and we got wow that guy's got a voice on him eh? he's we, got a set of pops on him we seriously. also went to some other reading with him with the two of them and the guy from bird photos so we've got some footage that of was them. hilarious as well well i liked it you know last year last year you know they had a lot to learn um, i'm pretty sure everyone knows that they had a lot to learn from from you know the amount of people that would suddenly come in especially with um geek culture becoming so popular amongst uh, normies as i like to call them overall it was a very fun there was a very fun festival um it had it had it had it ups its ups and downs as all festivals do i mean for one i got tired very quickly from the walking mm -hmm. around but that was like that that's all on me that had nothing to do with comic-con um the cool thing is that this year they had an app um that the media and the the public could get to use to see like your schedules and stuff yeah the bad thing about this app though it was over flooded by people they didn't quite plan for how many people would use this app <laughs> and you had to use your data so, every time so yeah so it, imagine a ddos <laughs> <laughs> but like from lots and lots of people logging into the map uh, to, to the app that's basically what happened the so artist I'm alley was awesome with... i'm really happy that they actually managed to build up the artist alley as much as they and did the board gaming section. and the board game section it was nice to see that the board game guys actually had a separate uh, an entire separate hall instead of just being crammed next to the big sub uh, the big base bins on the stage <laughs> like last time okay.
Okay, for me, uh, favorite things about Comic Con. Hmm. Um, the Lego thing. But that's yours. I was just about to say that <laughs> um, because I'm a big Lego fan. I'm a huge Lego fan. I'm not just a big Lego fan. Um, I love my Lego, so if I can build Lego, I will do it. I'll live be roll. Yeah, live be roll right there, right there, right there. You see. So I love my Lego. Um, all right. So enjoying enjoying Lego is something that I love doing, and for the, for them to bring that to Comic Con was quite awesome. But also, they have an entire kids' con section. I think that was freaking awesome. That's my second thing that I like about Comic Con. They're including the children as well, and letting them have a chance to actually run around because some of the stuff that is around is not for kids. <laughs> so the fact that they've actually made the first time kids' con in Africa was quite nice. At, at Comic Con Africa was quite nice. Something adding. I mean, the kids deserve something as well. You know, we did, just because we don't want kids doesn't mean we don't want the kids to have fun. You know, that's not fair. You know, not for anyone. And the third thing has to be the fact that I have to try and explain how to, how to pronounce Biltong to William Shatner. That was the third best thing from Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. Trying to explain how to spell or how to pronounce Biltong to this guy was... He was like, I had to say it like bull's tongue. Say it like that, but it's like... That's how you pronounce it, but it's not what it is. And he's like... And I said, it's dried meat. And he's like, oh, like our jerky. I'm like, yeah, it's just better. So, and he started laughing at that. So at least he found the joke funny. Anyway...